Fox, a Horizon High School freshman, is spending her summer in a modeling boot camp. She is one of 40 aspiring models competing for Phoenix Fashion Models. F f wait a minute. Phoenix Fashion Weeks? Yes, model it's a long title. Year. Phoenix Fashion Weeks Model of the Year. Christy Seifkin explains how her childhood fantasy became a reality. From the glamorous clothes to the flashing camera lights, many girls dream of a life on the runway. And for one Valley team, those pivots and poses could become a full-time career. Good, little longer strides. 14-year-old Chloe Bauer is competing in Phoenix Fashion Week's Model of the Year contest. Up. Growing up, Chloe binge-watched America's Next Top Model, mimicking supermodel host Tyra Banks. I would walk and I'd be like, do you want to be on top and sing the song? And it's embarrassing, but it's okay because all little kids do that. In June, Chloe took the runway for the very first time, competing with hundreds of Arizonans at a Phoenix Fashion Week casting call. The judges and her mom were blown away. I could not believe the confidence. I mean, she's never done anything like this before. And she got out there and she just walked and it was unbelievable. I was like, this is a good feeling, you know, walking and just like strutting and very fierce. I felt great. <laughs> Stay tall, shoulders back. Chloe was selected as one of 40 models good. to compete time, for Phoenix faster. Fashion Week's Model of the Year. Go ahead. Brenna Moses is the operations director for Phoenix Fashion Week. She says the competition teaches aspiring models how to navigate the business. Now, once you make it in the top 40, um, they're the hot commodity around town. Everyone wants to work with them. So we're really teaching them to build their portfolio, become a brand, be professional, how to act at castings. A little faster. For four months, every top 40 model participates in a boot camp, learning to walk the runway, pose for photos, and interview with agencies. They compete in a series of challenges, the winner becoming 2016's Model of the Year. The top 40 models made their debut here at Livewire, and in August, they'll compete in a runway competition. And from the looks of it, Chloe's got this one in the bag. And I'm not going to lie, middle school was hard. Um, she got teased for her body shape because she's so slender. But now that there's someone's embracing her look, and um, I think that's what gives her the confidence to be who she, she, who she is. This October, all 40 models will walk in Phoenix Fashion Week. Whoever's named Model of the Year will win a contract with the agency Arizona, a pivotal first step into the world of high fashion. I think that if I was a model, I would go and like prove that you don't always have to be a certain stereotype to be a model. You don't always have to be, you know, blonde hair. You don't always have to have tan skin. Like you can be who you are and still be beautiful. Christy Seifkin, Fox 10 News. It takes a lot of guts to walk down the catwalk. That's right. Have Confidence. you ever done that for, you know, like a celebrity? No, I've fashion? tried to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> It's, it's scary. It's a little awkward. It's a, it does take confidence. Phoenix Fashion Week takes place October 12th through the 15th at the Talking Stick Resort, and that's when Chloe will find out if she wins the competition. So Chloe has a backup plan. She says if modeling doesn't work out, she'd like to be a professional soccer player. Maybe she can do both. There you go.